In this video, I'm going to give you a short example of the UV offset map drawing mode in Krita. This video is here to give you an example of what you would use flow maps for in practice. This is not a Blender tutorial and this is not a technical tutorial on how flow maps work uh, for shader programming, for instance. For the most part, it is for those of you who do some technical art. It is used mainly in real-time rendering with shaders. Working with this tool is very straightforward. You just have to select the second preset in the Tangent Normal Brush Engine in Krita, and then you just draw in a given direction to create vectors pointing in that direction. Just like with Tangent Space Normal Map, the color 128, 128, and 0 to 250, whatever, is a base color. It represents a neutral vector. I prefer to fill the blue channel with a value of zero just so that I can, at a glance, differentiate my flow maps from my tangent space normal maps. Krita's convention for mapping the colors is the opposite from some of the more popular engines out there. That is uh, Unity. I've noticed that it's the opposite of Blender as well. You will either need to invert the R and G channels in your engine upon importing the texture, or you have to do that in Krita. You just have to press Ctrl I to invert, or you can add a invert filter layer on top of your layer stack to do so. Once you have exported your texture, you can test it out in a small application called Flow Map Painter. It's a Unity based application with a flow map shader built in, uh, which will give you a preview of the kind of flow your flow map produces. To use it, you just have to rename your texture flowmap.png and place it into the data folder of the little application. Then from within the app, you can load your flow map by clicking the corresponding button. I've also prepared a Blender node setup. It's not working perfectly. There's definitely something that I'm missing out there, but I didn't have the time to fix it. If you know how to fix the global offset that's happening on my setup, don't hesitate to share the solution in the comments. The setup itself is simple. We connect the object's UV coordinates to a mapping node to be able to pan and scale the texture. To that, we add our processed flow map. It is our texture, to which we subtract 0.5 to get both negative and positive coordinates in our vectors. We then input our result in the vector slot of the diffuse texture. This slot handles UV mapping for the texture image. That's about as far as I can help you with flow maps and Blender right now. I'm really not a crack with Blender, so if you want to use flow maps, uh, you'll have to do your own research. I couldn't find a tutorial either to run me or run you through the process of using flow maps in Blender specifically. I hope this short video was still useful. That said, I want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.